What's up, y'all, and welcome to another episode of the Muscle Mentality Podcast, where we explore the motivation and inspiration. I'm your host, Jay Williams, and today we have an exciting topic. Uh, so today's discussion, we're going to talk about the power of self-motivation. So in the next 10 minutes, we'll take a deep dive into what motivation is, why it matters, and how you can harness it to achieve your goals. So grab your headphones, get comfortable, and let's get started. So our first to topic, we're going to talk about defining motivation. So to kick things off, let's define what motivation really is. At its core, motivation is the driving force that will compel us to take many actions, whether they're positive or negative, that will be the driving for force for us to take on action. So it's the internal spark that propels us toward our goals and our dreams. So motivation can come from external uh, sources like your mentors, role models, or a supportive community, but it often begins within us. All the motivation we usually need comes from within us. As someone who has used motivation throughout his life and continue to to this day, uh, motivation can be categorized into two main types, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation comes from within, so from yourself, so it's driven by your personal values and desires. Uh, extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, comes from external factors like rewards, recognition, but both types play a role in our lives. Very important. But the intrinsic motivation tends to be more sustainable and fulfilling in the long run because those extrinsic uh, motivations, those rewards that we attain from that uh, isn't always there. Why does motivation, why is it so important to us? So now that we have that motivation, why does it matter? Why should we care about staying motivated in our lives? So motivation is the key to unlocking uh, our full potential. It's what drives us to set and achieve goals, but also to a push to push through challenges and to grow as an individual. Uh, without motivation, we might find ourselves stuck in a rut, uh, lacking the enthusiasm to pursue the goals that we have. Motivation gives us gives our life purpose and meaning the motivation myth there's a common misconception uh, that motivation is always present but in reality it can be elusive at times how do we deal with motivation uh, slumps when motivation isn't there when we truly need it because we all know it's there one second and can be gone the next like we can be uh, excited and ready to start our workout regimen, our workout routine, um, excited to eat the foods that I just meal prepped for the uh, upcoming week. Uh, but then as soon as Monday hits, as soon as Monday morning hit, we, or we aren't as excited as we were when we were cooking these things. That happens to me. It happens to all of us. But what do we do when the motivation isn't there? Motiv the motivation myth. It's important to understand that motivation isn't constant. And sometimes when you want it to be consistent, it's not there. Most of the time it's not there. So we all have those days when it's harder to find that drive. Uh, so during these times, it's essential for us to rely on the discipline and our routines of being consistent uh, and the habits that we have formed. So creating those routines, breaking your goals into smaller goals, manageable steps, and remember your why. The, the reason you started in the first place. So your why is, why did you actually want to start? And really dig deep on your why, because you owe yourself that much. Uh, if you're going to go through a process, knowing that that process can be really challenging, and you're going to need something, someone to have your back, you have to know your why. So that right there, that can reignite 
uh, your motivation, even on those tough days. How can we cultivate and sustain the motivation in our lives? Cultivating the motivation uh, will involve a lot of strategy, strategies, several strategies. But first, let's just set clear and achievable goals. That is the key. Set those smart goals. Make the specific, measurable, and time-bound attainable goals to get you to where you want to be. But make sure that they are realistic. Um, you want to surround yourself with positive influences. So if there's people that's that's in your life, that's doing the right things, that you look up to, that you're happy and excited to be around, keep those people in your circle. Keep those people around you. Uh, but if there's people that's that's not on the same page as you, that you find that can be hindering um, your dreams, hindering um, that motivation and what that motivation can bring, then you want to keep them out of your circle. Uh, not to be mean or anything, but you have to put yourself first. Visualization is also uh, a powerful tool that you can use. Mentally, those mental pictures that you might see in your head can give you the success that you want. And finally, don't forget to celebrate your achievements. Celebrate those wins, no matter how small they may be. If you wake up on time, that's a win. If you get your workout in, that's a win. You get your steps in, that's your win. You get your protein, you get your water. All those things are small wins that will get you to that ultimate goal, that big win that you're looking for, whatever that goal may be. Now let's talk about the role of self-compassion. You got to have compassion uh, for yourself. Uh, so it's easy to get discouraged when you're facing setbacks. We tend to want to give up, but it's when those set when you have those setbacks, that's when you really should uh, keep moving forward and try your best to then pivot off that setback to make a bigger difference, to make a to gain a step to. Uh, put yourself in the right position to where you're learning from that setback to then gain more access. So how does that self-compassion tie into staying motivated? Self-compassion is vital to in maintaining the, your motivation. Instead of beating yourself up over your failures, treat yourself with kindness and understanding, knowing that you're not perfect and that there's going to be um there's going to be things that might not go your way and you might mess up, but you have to pivot off those things and learn from it, learn from those failures to then, so you can gain more from it. So if you learn something, that's a win. I don't necessarily take a, if I, if I fail at something, I lose at something, but I'm able to learn from something that I, I was able to learn from that loss, that failure. I count that as a win because I learned something from it. So with me learning something from it, I am then able to apply what I learned to keep moving forward. Uh, and remember that setbacks, remember those setbacks, those failures, they're natural uh, and they're a part of your journey. Um, and the only way you are able to be successful is through those failures, those setbacks. So learn from them, uh, pivot, adjust, uh, adjust your course if needed and keep moving forward. Uh, remember that self-compassion helps you bounce back even stronger. So help have that self-compassion for yourself as you're going along on your journey. So there you have it, y'all. The power of self-motivation is an internal force um, that can drive us to achieve the incredible things in our lives. So remember to have that motivation and know that motivation isn't a one-time thing. It's a lifelong journey. Whatever you're trying to achieve, make it a journey um, and love that journey. Learn from the failures through that journey, through that process. So then you can then pivot and apply uh, what you learn to be able to gain what you want to achieve. So stay focused, stay inspired and keep that fire burning within you because you owe yourself that much. Nobody owes you anything. Only you owe you what you're trying to achieve. So thank you for joining us on the Muscle Mentality Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share uh, with someone uh, who could 
who could use a little motivation today. So until next time, keep chasing your dreams uh, and embracing the power of self-motivation uh, because you owe you. Be your best. You can. You will. You must. See y'all.